If I were to choose to live my life over again, I wouldn't live it in this way. I would do it differently. Do you know Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. Okay. Not personally. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> the book. Uh, and uh, it's, it's always been one of my favorite books. In the book, Christopher Robin, the little boy, now has to go to school. And he's telling his friends, the toy animals, that he won't be able to play with them so much anymore. And in the end, Christopher and Winnie the bear, uh, who's the smartest of the whole lot, and they walk off together and they, the book ends with the statement, something like, and whatever they do, or wherever they go in the enchanted forest, the little boy and his bear will always be playing together. And that phrase would bring tears to my eyes for years because play is so important and joy is so important. And that's what these people are talking about. And they didn't allow themselves to experience it. They sacrificed the play and the joy for all these other things. I believe what's being described in that last regret is people sacrifice their playfulness, yeah. their joyfulness for the sake of being accepted and being successful and all that. It's a huge one. We, play is built into our brains. Kids play spontaneously, infants play. Mm -hmm. In that sense, we can all be Winnie the Pooh and, and Christopher, we, we can always keep playing in the enchanted forest. And that's just essential, I think. <laughs>